Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating part of the human body that often doesn't get the attention it deserves, the colon. You might know it as the large intestine, but it plays a crucial role in our digestive system that affects our overall health. So, what exactly does the colon do? Let's break it down and find out. The digestive system is like a long, twisty road that food travels through. It starts in your mouth, goes down the esophagus, into the stomach, and then into the small intestine. But what happens after that? That's where the colon comes in. In this video, we'll explore how the colon works, what it does with the leftovers from your meals, and why keeping it healthy is so important. We'll also touch on some common issues people face with their colon and how to maintain a happy gut. So grab a snack, maybe not a heavy meal though, and let's get started. First off, let's clarify what the colon is. The colon, or large intestine, is about 5 feet long and is shaped like an upside-down U. It connects the small intestine to the rectum. The colon has four main sections. Ascending colon runs upward on the right side of the abdomen. Transverse colon crosses the body from right to left. Descending colon travels downward on the left side. Sigmoid colon, the S-shaped segment that leads into the rectum. So, what does the colon do? It's primarily responsible for absorbing water and salts from the material that hasn't been digested as food, turning it into solid waste. Let's break down this process a bit more. When food enters your stomach, it's mixed with acids and enzymes that break it down. From there, it moves into the small intestine, where most of the nutrients are absorbed. What's left over is mostly water, fiber, and waste. Once the mixture reaches the colon, it's still somewhat liquid. Here's where the magic happens. The colon absorbs water and salts, which help solidify the waste. The lining of the colon has tiny finger-like projections called villi. These villi help absorb nutrients and water. The colon also contains a lot of good bacteria that help break down the remaining food particles. This process is called fermentation. These bacteria are really important. They help create vitamins and also keep harmful bacteria in check. So the colon is not just a waste storage area, it's also a bustling community of microbes that play a vital role in our health. Now let's talk about fiber. You've probably heard about it before, but do you know why it's so important for your colon? Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that your body can't digest. It comes from plant-based foods like fruits, vegetables, grains, and legumes. There are two types of fiber, soluble and insoluble. One, soluble fiber. This type dissolves in water and can help lower cholesterol and stabilize blood sugar levels. Foods like oats, beans, and apples are rich in soluble fiber. Two, insoluble fiber. This type doesn't dissolve in water and helps add bulk to your stool, making it easier to pass. Think of foods like whole grains, nuts, and the skins of fruits and vegetables. When you eat enough fiber, it helps keep everything moving smoothly through your colon. If you don't get enough fiber, you might experience constipation, which can lead to more serious issues like hemorrhoids or diverticulitis. Let's take a moment to talk about some common issues that can affect the colon. Understanding these can help you take better care of your gut. 1. Constipation. This is when you have infrequent bowel movements or difficulty passing stools. It can be caused by a low fiber diet, dehydration, or lack of exercise. 2. Diarrhea. The opposite of constipation. Diarrhea is when you have loose, watery stools. It can be caused by infections, food intolerances, or digestive disorders. 3. Irritable Bowel Syndrome, IBS. This is a common disorder that affects the large intestine, causing symptoms like cramping, bloating, gas, diarrhea, and constipation. It's often linked to stress and diet. 4. Diverticulitis. This occurs when small pouches in the colon, called diverticula become inflamed or infected. It can cause severe abdominal pain and changes in bowel habits. 5. Colon cancer. This is a serious condition that can develop in the colon. Regular screenings, especially for those over 50 or with a family history, are important for early detection. Now that we've covered some common issues, let's talk about how to keep your colon healthy. 1. Eat a high fiber diet. Aim for at least 25 to 30 grams of fiber a day. Include plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes in your meals. Two, 
Stay hydrated. Drinking enough water helps your digestive system work efficiently. Aim for at least eight glasses of water a day. Three, exercise. Regularly, physical activity can help maintain a healthy weight and promote regular bowel movements. Try to get at least 30 minutes of exercise most days of the week. 4. Limit processed foods. Foods high in fat and sugar can contribute to digestive issues. Instead, focus on whole, unprocessed foods. 5. Regular checkups. Don't skip regular doctor visits and screenings, especially if you have a family history of colon cancer or other digestive issues. To wrap things up, the colon plays an essential role in our digestive system. It's responsible for absorbing water and salts, forming waste, and hosting beneficial bacteria that support our health. By understanding how it works and taking steps to keep it healthy, we can improve our overall well-being. Oh, and if you're tired of bloating or sluggish digestion, click the link in the description to check it out. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome content. Do you have any questions about the colon or digestive health? Drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer. Until next time, take care of your gut.